الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحب في الله we have to be concerned about our ending that today we may be upon good and tomorrow we could be on evil or we can what was written for us can overtake us and we end up doing the deeds of the fire Ahabatifillah, this came in a hadith or comes from a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam An Abdullah An Abi Abdurrahman Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qal Haddathana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa huwa sadiq al-masduq Inna ahadakum yujma'u khalquhu fi batni ummihi arba'in yawman nutfa ثم يكون علاقة مثل ذلك ثم يكون مضغة مثل ذلك ثم يرسل إليه الملك فينفخ فيه الروح ويؤمر بالأربع كلمات بكتب رزقه وأجله وعمله وشقي وسعي فوالله الذي لا إله غيره إن أهدكم ليعملوا بعمل أهل الجنة حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلى ذراع ويسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل النار ويدخلها وإن أهلكم ليعمل بعمل أهل النار حتى ما يكون بينه حتى ما يكون بينه وبينها إلى ذراع فيسبق عليه الكتاب فيعمل بعمل أهل الجنة فيدخلها رواه بخاري ومسلم هبت في الله this hadith is عظيم this hadith is عظيم and may Allah protect us from having Suwa Khatima for being of those of Ahlan Nar and may Allah bless us all with ikhlas with the bad Abi Abdurrahman Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the most truthful in speech who only spread the truth said barely one of you is collected in the stomach of his mother 40 days as nutfa this is the mixed fluid between male and female thumma yakun mudghatan thumma yakun then he is a blood clot for a similar term 40 days, 40 days then he is a mudga a morsel of flesh for the similar amount of days then a angel an angel is sent to blow in the soul And that shows us that the term, that is a, an important term in the development of when it becomes a fetus. So then the angel is sent to blow in the soul. And to, and it gives four things. Or it is commanded with four things. To write the rizq of that person, meaning the the amount of wealth that they'll attain in their knowledge, in their their life. Wa ajlihi, the lifespan. Wa amalihi, and the deeds that they'll do. And whether they'll be happy or sad. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, by Allah, who there is no God other than that verily one of you will do the deeds of the people of Jannah until what is between them and Jannah is an arm span and then what was written will overtake them and they will do the deeds of the hellfire and they will enter it and verily one of you will do the deeds of the people of the hellfire until between them and the hellfire is an arm span. 
then what was written will overtake them and they will do the deeds of the people of Jannah and they will enter it. Ruahu Bukhari wa Muslim. Ahabatifillah, immense benefit from this hadith. But the most a'adham benefit we can gain is to not become arrogant with guidance. And to pray and seek Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guidance always. Because we don't know how we're going to end. There are enough of us who claim good and we see on the Zahir they're doing good but they do evil in the night and in the day when they're not around their brothers and sisters. And there's enough of us who are even hypocrites. وَعِيَاذٍ بِاللَّهِ مِنْ ذَلِكَ And may Allah protect us from that. Amin Ya Rabbi Al-Alameen. So what about those who spend their whole life on Ta'atillah, on obedience to Allah, worshipping Allah, spreading Tawheed, practicing Tawheed, actualizing Tawheed? Then the Shaitan comes to them, the whisperings of the Shaitan, or from amongst mankind or jinn, and they end up doing the deeds of the hellfire and they enter the hellfire. Then there are those from amongst mankind who will do evil all their life, spend their whole life in spreading wickedness, could be backbiting, namima, ghiba, killing, extremism, slaughtering humans, destroying the environment, destroying anything good. But then, when it comes to the end of their life, they are guided by Allah Azza wa Jal. Maybe someone from Ahl Tawheed gives them a kalimat, kalimat to Tawheed and they accept it and they enter a paradise. Ahabatif Allah, we don't know our state. So worship Allah. Hatta yatiyakum yaqeen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.